about uh, awards, man. Uh. Uh. <laughs> TV feels great to be back on today's edition. We are about to dive into that conversation with our today's guest. His name is uh, Neo Slayer. Uh, we saw the other Neo in the country. Because they call Samoni after Samoni. We saw Mr. Samoni. And I saw him posting about it. That's one funny part about it is that. When people make fun of you, <laughs> oh, yeah. you use it and post it, and they make more fun about it. So, I was like, I'm going to go to the last. And it was welcome on the show. Neo Slayer, at one. Welcome on the show. Neo Slayer, at one. Welcome on the show. Uh, it's a good thing. Is it a good thing? Don't don't thing? Don't don't thing? Don't oh, no, it's a good thing. Okay. Yeah, but 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 maintain it. Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that okay. Yeah. Welcome on the show, man. Thanks, man. Uh, like I said from the start of the conversation, Neo was in the country. And uh, maybe before that, let's get to find out about the highlight, your music career. My album, yeah. my EP, uh, nango, uh, nango, my chamwa. Maybe give us a highlight uh, about you this year, 2023. Well, I mean, basically, this year has just been about my music. Um, well, the album came out this year and did pretty good. The response from the from the fans was amazing. It was overwhelming, and. From that, it's just been music. Chamwa, Chamwa Entertainment is a record label in Zambia, but I'm just affiliated to it mm. uh, because the owner of Chamwa Entertainment is a good friend of mine. We come way, way, we come from way, way back. Uh, him and I from uh, from Tounder Square. That's the mm. one. Yeah, yeah. That's where that's where we got to know each other. He went his way, I went my way, and then we rekindled. And he is. He has a studio now. So I'm just trying to, you know. Help him here and there. Mm. Yeah. Uh, like I said from the intro, I also want to get to find out. There's something that I also want to find out from you, but I'm I'm, I'm trying by all means not to go straight to that go question. Go straight to the point. <laughs> you dropped an album. Yes. You had an album launch. Yes. Uh, amazing performances. Uh, quite very interesting, right there. Maybe let's let's have a conversation about the album, like the content that you dropped, the feedback from the people. Is it something that you were expecting, or you were expecting more than what you got? Well, if if you talk about fans, um, it's what I expected. Um, if you talk about other different aspect of it, it's not really what I expected. Um, I don't know whether it has to do with me, or it has to do with our promotion, or it has to do with my team, or it has to do with I don't I don't know. But uh, the response from the fans was was overwhelming it was amazing if we talk about the album launch you saw I'm, I'm pretty sure you were there yeah I was there yeah um, music club had to close <laughs> you know because the capacity of music club is 1500 um, uh, capacity then we went we went up to 200 but even at 200 people were still coming in so music had, club had to, had to close because of you know space and all that but the album itself is doing pretty good. For people that you know you, your growth in the industry was a bit slow. Oh yeah. Your music was playing. Oh yeah. Uh, people accepting your stuff. It was like growing. I don't know if you noticed about that. And it's still getting somewhere. Because <laughs> 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 time with Yaguti, when you move around, you hear a new Slayer song so. playing somewhere. Uh, the presence was not there. You couldn't, too much. You couldn't marry the song, yes. the music to the face. Yes. Oh, yeah. Now yeah. finally we can say it's getting there. Like, were you working towards it, or it just grew on its own? I think it just grew on its own, on its own, because I, I remember, I remember having conversations with KB. You know, we would sit down with KB and say, yeah, but what we have the right material, but what is it that we're not doing? You know, and and I always remember KB telling me to say. I, so, you know, we've got different artists in the game. There are artists that just come on the scene and blow, you know, and, and, and make a mark. And there are those artists that build a catalog. And I, and I kind of feel like you are that type of an artist. So 
pay not attention to what's going on because sometimes you may have a time frame in your mind, yet it's not your time. You get the sense. So when you have a, a, a time frame in your mind, I mean, it's not working according to your time frame. You you feel like things are not just you know adding up. So KB told me to say, time will come. Even these songs that you're doing now, people will start learning and knowing them, and they will sing along. And it happens. Whenever I go for a performance or whenever I go for a show, I will sing an old song and people will sing about it. Will sing along to it. I will sing a new song and people will sing along to it. So. Um, I think it was that. It just grew. The only secret that KB told me to do is just keep working hard, keep working, keep doing what you're doing. But how did you battle with uh, frustration? This is something that we talk about, uh, most especially when things are not working according to how you feel they should work. But, 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 you know, it's it's there. But for me, I'll, I'll, I'll speak about me. For me, I see life in two in two uh, versions. You know, there's a life that I vision that I want to, I want for myself, and there's a life that God has planned for me. So whenever I'm frustrated, I sit down and say, "Well, His plans are not my plans." Mm -hmm. You get the sense, and His plans are not, you know. You know, will not always happen then. Then our God, the God I serve, knows no shortcut. You know, so th those are the things that I tell myself to say. Well, this is my plan, but how sure am I that this is God's plan towards my life? Mm. You see, that's what keeps me going to say, oh, okay. So this is my plan. It didn't work, meaning it's not in a, in alignment with God's plan. You get, mm. yeah. The other thing, your songs, simple songs. We're talking about the melody. <laughs> <laughs> You make sure that you sing about what people are going through and your fan base, if, I, if you correct me if I'm wrong, your fan base, women love your music. I, I think you're 85 percent. 85 percent. Why 80? What guy? I don't know if you're in a relationship, but I don't know if you're in a relationship. Why? But let's have that conversation. When you're writing a song, maybe the inspiration. I'm asking this question because there's always someone who's watching this show. Oh, yeah. Maybe they're the next biggest artist in Zambia. True. And they would like to find out how you're writing and how you get the inspiration, how you get these simple words. I know it sounds simple when you record a song, but it's not as easy as it may sound. No, it's not. But I think, for me, it has to do with my growing up. Um, I grew up listening to music uh, that speaks to you. You know, there are different types of music. You can listen to a song and it's just a song. But for me, I grew up listening to music like Boys to Men, Celine Dion, you know, where when you're listening to an R&B song, it's talking about a woman, it's talking about one woman, it's talking about you falling in love deeply with that woman. So if you have a, a, a girlfriend at that time, you start, you know, applying what you're listening <laughs> into your relationship. Mm -hmm. Hence, you become this um, committed person and... Uh, just an emotional person. You get a lover, if I may put it like that. So for me, when I decided to do music, I decided to say, okay, the, the type of music I was listening to, when I'm listening to it, it, it takes me somewhere, you know. It changes something about the way I think, the way I feel, you get the sense. So in, in a way, I just decided to say, okay, that's the type of music I want to do. I want to, when someone is listening to the song, they're like, mm, is Neo thinking about me? Or was ah, Neo is speaking the right words? He spoke the words, out, he took the words right out of my mouth. You get the sense. Mm -hmm. So that's what I look for. And hence, I have conversations with my fans. I think I'm one of the few artists that have, have has conversations with his fans. So I would ask a question, a random question on Facebook. Rather, I know in my mind that this is what I want to do, but I just want to get people's opinion and thoughts so that when I do a song, someone will think, ah, manga, indeed, or <laughs> you get the sense. Like when you go to church, a preacher is preaching, sometimes you feel like the message is just directed at you. You've never felt like that. Mm, so you feel like <laughs> the preacher of love. <laughs> if we may put it like that. But if we put it like has that. anyone ever asked you a question how you came up with your name, Neil? Well, I didn't come up with the name. The name is my real name. I just decided to use it as a stage name. It's one of my real names. It was given to me by my father. Hmm. Yeah. My father was uh, a person who liked to read a lot. 
And when you look at what Neo means, it means something new. So when I was born, there was something new in his life. Nice. So hence Neo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about uh, awards, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> About that one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like, I, like, I like I like to get your opinion, man. Okay. Bottle Party Love was one of the songs made it on my countdown on. on one, it was one of the biggest songs. One in of the, the biggest songs in the country. Uh, one of the songs that you can't run away from the fact that <laughs> every Zambian was vibing to that song. True. Uh, you got nominated. Yes, yes. You in, didn't get any award. Well, we didn't. Yeah. How does it make you feel as an artist? Well, if I'm being honest with you, um, on the night of the awards, I I got upset, you know, on the actual night. But like I told you, I live life in two versions. There's my version and there's God's version. So my version was upset that night. But when I when I was driving home with my wife, she's always, you know, she's always, I, I mean, I've been nominated since the inception of the Quacha Music Awards. I've been nominated, and every time we would, you know, we drive, we walk away with nothing at the end of the night. And my wife is always in my ears to say, "Next time." So this is not the first time something like this has happened. No, no, no. She's always saying, "Next time, next time." You know. So in my mind, or rather, when we were dro driving home, she, she's like, "Anyway, this is the version of the world. Probably now, God." has your version, your vision hasn't, you know, happened yet. So like I said, I leave two versions. So there's me and there's God's version. Mm. Yeah. So I was upset, no, no lie, because I'm a, I'm a fair person. I don't claim what I, I've no, I've, I didn't work for, what I didn't earn, I don't do that. But I kind of feel 2023 is a year I did the most. 2023 is the year I did the most, and I, I didn't expect all the awards, but I expected one. Did you wish you would have withdrawn from the award, or you wish what happened happened? No, I don't know. I, I don't, I didn't wish, I, I don't wish I had withdrawn. Um, what happened happened. When you were upset, what was your first thing that you thought about? The other version of Neil. <laughs> <laughs> Since we are talking about two versions. Two versions, yes. yeah. What I, my, my first thought was, that's unfair. Okay. That was my first thought. I said that was that, that's unfair. I think the last uh, category I was in when it was announced, I decided to walk out. To to walk out, I just told my wife, "Let's go." She said, ah, "No, let's wait. No, let's go." <laughs> you get because I felt really, really uh, unfair. Uh, I worked so hard, 2023. I, I mean, you can agree. You are one of the people who. I, th I don't. I don't want to use the word monitor, <laughs> but you're one of the people who who follows what I do. If I may just put it like that, so I'm pretty sure when I say I've worked hard 2023, you can agree with me. Mm. Yeah. But anyway, I didn't complain about it. I didn't do anything about it because I didn't get here by complaining. I got here where I am by just hard working. Yeah. Yeah. I've I've I've, I've had countless conversation about. Do you sometimes, lack of a better term, underrated? I remember we had this conversation some time back. Was it three years ago? Well, yeah. On radio. I, I still remember the conversation that we had. I, I remember asking you the, such a question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm asking this question as a follow-up question of you not winning the awards. Well, I see, I see a lot of that word, even my fans, regardless whether it's uh, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, you name it. Even just people on, on, on Facebook that would randomly say I'm one of the underrated artists. To be quite honest, I don't even know what it means to be underrated. But what I know is we live in a world where we follow trends. If it was about talent, yes, I would have been one of the talked, most talked about artists. But now it's, it's, a more, it's more of a popularity contest than about talent. You see, so I understand how the, the how society works now. It's all about trend. If you're trending, then well, you are the most happening person. You get. But I'm not a person who believes in. I would train for the right reasons, like I would train for my work. That's me. I wouldn't train for anything else. I almost thought when you got caught up by 
a story to do with police officers of uh, in in oh, yeah. ku, ku ma police station you guys are training some time back some time back i thought like you are trying to get somewhere no. because nowadays it's hard to tell which story is it's true, true and not which you one is you not see, you see so for me that that was that wasn't a publicist a publicity stunt or anything that really happened and the reason why it, it didn't even go viral like it was supposed to is because we i decided to say no you know this happened we cannot take an advantage of a real situation and you know I, but i understand that's how business this is how the music business works now but that's just not me i wouldn't want to train or create a trend that is not true if i'm if i were to train that when we done a ghetto it has to be for the right reason it has to be true rather if i may put it like that not a fake you know story so for me i want to train for my work i want to be known for my work not just creating you know just for numbers and and what not in a way yeah it works mm -hmm. but like like anything in life there's an advantage and a disadvantage so anyway Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here we are. <laughs> Let's talk about this year before we call it a wrap on this conversation. Um, what next? Album was out. <laughs> Again, one of the biggest songs. Mm, the one album. of the biggest songs, Woman's Prayer. Uh, <laughs> so many songs on the album. Yeah. Uh, that were amazing in that album. Yeah. What are we planning? What are we working on? Do we so, expect more? To be quite honest, this year I'm done. I'm not releasing any music. I'm not doing anything music related maybe features one here and there but for my projects i'm done i'm not releasing any music mm. we see what next year has in store <laughs> okay <laughs> we expect the unexpected yeah they all talk to your people they are watching right now i have well, so many questions but time time i know time, i know, time, time, I time. know. <laughs> yeah come on one to one well for my people um you are the, you are my real bosses i've always said this and if i'm being honest i do music for you uh the messages you write to me saying what my music does in your life is what keeps me going and it's a two way thing i don't only give you you know good music but you also give me the fuel to keep doing good music so thank you guys keep keep appreciating and i appreciate you as well mm. The Mandate Band is in the studio right here. Like we said last week, uh, that what we have Neo is going to be performing. What song are we going to be performing for us today? Woman's Prayer, the okay. biggest song. <laughs> <laughs> you even know, how do you know, how do you analyze saying, okay, apana piti sa? When you perform it. There's, I, I can tell you there's no um, event I've gone to and I've performed Woman's Prayer and there's no person in the crowd that's crying that I pull on stage. Mm. Every where i go everywhere i go <laughs> okay yeah that's how i know <laughs> okay <laughs> let's go straight to neo it's gonna be performing on the other side right here payati vibes on prime team as we're having a conversation get to find out about his year 2023 20, on the other side